What is up, YouTubers? It's your boy, Polly C, coming at you with another episode of Carpet Cleaning Guys Vlogs. Oh, yeah. We out here today doing upholstery. I should say my son is doing the upholstery. And you can see we're using the hand orbital. We have mixed up a solution. This is all polyester, so it's synthetic. I got some Go Oxy in there. And I also have in the pump up sprayer. Oh, these are polar pads. Real nice absorbent polar pads. They're microfiber. And in the tank, we have mixed up uh, two ounces per gallon of the uh what is it the green dragon my staple product and then i boosted a little bit one ounce or about half an ounce of the simply citrus and about maybe three ounces of go oxy extra in the pump up sprayer so we're just misting them real lightly and then using the pad to extract all the soil after of course completely vacuuming the set now i do want to say oh yes i do want to say there are some hardcore hose runners out there you know who you are <laughs> i used to be one of those hot water extraction steam cleaning guys and they're looking at this and going what the f are you doing carpet cleaner that's a car buffer get out of here <laughs> and I I love you. I was that guy. I would have I used to watch these guys doing VLM just jeez. What five years ago or four years ago? And I was sitting there laughing. Come on, carpet cleaner. What in the hell are you doing? Swirling the dirt around. Get out of the way. Let the big boys come in and handle the job. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was just like you guys. But you know what? The chemistry is what changed. The chemistry is what has convinced me. It's just incredible. You'll see the transition of the soil. But even the customer, there was like five or six heavy urine spots on the sofa and the love seat. And she said, oh, we're worried these won't come out. <clears throat> After my son vacuumed it, bada boom, bada bing. What did Polly C do? Oh, he took that little spray bottle that's mixed. Oh, it's probably got about an ounce to two ounces in that 32 ounce trigger sprayer with warm water. And I immediately pre-treated all of the urine spots with the Go Oxy. And within minutes, they vanished. She actually came into the room and said, wow, you, these cleaned up real nice. And my son looked at her and said, I haven't even touched those yet. He just pre-treated them with, you know, an oxidizer. <laughs> so I'm telling you, I know, I know. A lot of people are not going to buy it. You have to physically see this. And that is why at my company, we do a no-risk money-back guarantee. That's right, folks. No-risk money-back guarantee. What that does is it basically says, hey, if you're not happy, you don't. we don't get paid. So my no risk money back guarantee, just for people who want to know how it works that are in the business, we offer within seven days, you contact us if there's any issues you see or areas you think need attention within that seven day, one week period, you contact me. And we'll come right back out and we will redo those areas in any areas you think need attention. And after that, if you're still not happy with our services, we're going to give you back all your money. That's right. We don't want unhappy customers. So that's the way to do it. But, you know, again, back to the host runners looking at this and saying, no, 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 that ain't working. I hear you, brother. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> but you know what's happening here is the chemistry like i said 
And yes, I'm not afraid to say I get all my chemistry pretty much 100% now from NCAP Store, Damon Williams over there. You can go to ncapstore.com. You can get the same products I use. But my three staples are Green Dragon. I, mean, I usually buy it in a pail. And then I get Go Oxy. And I get Kaput. And so how's that work? The Green Dragon is your general cleaner. If you don't have any pee spots or any odors, just use the Green Dragon. Why waste your money? If there's organic stains or even sometimes if there's pets, I use it just to help break down the pet hair is organic and it rots and it can fall below the carpet. So we want to get that out. So I use that. Um, anything organic, basically it's a peroxide. So urine, coffee, tea, tomato juice, anything that's natural and not a synthetic. Like synthetic stuff, you, ne you need to use uh, something else. It wouldn't hurt to try the Gooxy, but the Gooxy just obliterates urine. That's why when I sprayed it, it just vanished. And you know what? I just misted it. So do you think it's going to wick back up? No way, brother. It is dry. And then when he does his, he's going to mist it again, and he's going to pad all the soil out, transfer the urine that was on the surface out. Now, if I had hot water extracted it, I'm going to even it, even if I set it to 100 PSI, you know, or you get a smaller machine, you go 50 PSI. The, water, the solution's coming out, and it's pushing the urine deeper into the cushion. And with humidity and stuff in the Pacific Northwest, it's going to wake back up. But worst case possible is when it's humid outside or raining, it's going to stink. It's going to smell like urine. So we don't want that. So, And I'm not knocking hot water extraction or truck-mounted steam cleaning. <laughs> You're talking to the guy who that's all I would do is just, you know, I started with Stanley Steamer as a helper. And I was convinced, and I did it my younger years with my boy. And over time, you know, when my boys went on their own way originally, I, I got a great big portable with a, you know, it had double dual stage vacs, and I got a three stage vac booster to screw onto the tank, and two bucket heaters so I'd have heat. I mean, I did it all. I added, I even added one of those little blue Steam Bright $400, $500. The water goes through it and it's supposed to heat it up and come out. Those are a joke, right? Unless you want to work at a snail's pace, it's not going to heat the water. But anyway, anyway, I digress. I've been there, done that. So I do have a little education on it. And I value my customers. I value the service that we provide. And I have a mini extractor, the Betco 3.5 gallon. It's, I carry it on my truck in case I need to extract something or I kick over the jug, spill all the solution out. I gotta have something to extract with. So I'm not opposed to it. I do use it if I walked in and this was a rat nasty and it had a lot of soil and I thought, wow, I'm gonna end up using two, three pads per cushion. I would just bring in the Betco and I would extract it and we'd be done. But you got to know what tools you have in the in the box. And most importantly, again, the chemicals. So I was saying Green Dragon, safe for wool, safe for cotton. I mean, Green Dragon's foolproof. If you're getting into the business and you're worried you're going to damage someone's carpet, Green Dragon, oh yeah, you won't have no problems. It does everything. And it's a fantastic cleaner. And it dissolves in cold water. Come on. You ever had a powdered mixture that you I used to use chem spec and I used to have to put the hot water from the truck mount into the into the solution to heat to heat it enough to dissolve the solution anyway so green dragon is my general go-to cleaner I have no other cleaner on the truck except for green dragon and then go oxy for anything organic like I said pee whatever the Go Oxy is great. Or if you just have a synthetic carpet and you want to brighten it and have the customer just be wowed, add a little boost of Go Oxy. It'll pay dividends, trust me. And then the Simply Citrus is a orange oil, all natural, plant-based. It's plant certified or whatever they call that. You can look on the bottle. Pull up uh, Simply Citrus when you're searching the website. You can read about it. I generally just... If there's any body oils like this place, they have a husky dog. So 
what do I do? I mix the two ounces of the Green Dragon into the one gallon sprayer. I put one ounce of the Simply Citrus. I could have put half an ounce. And I put uh, several ounces of the Go Oxy. I can't remember if it was three, three, four, or five. Doesn't matter, but um, put it in there. Again, it's 100% polyester fiber, so there's no, no risk of damaging. It's not wool or cotton. If you were dealing with a natural fiber on a couch, always check the tags. Then you would want to just use the Green Dragon. You don't want to add anything to it to exasperate any problems or damage the material. By the way, when you read the tags, you're looking for the cleaning code. It'll say uh, code W means it can be cleaned with a water-based solution or code S, which means you have to use a solvent-based solution like alcohol, isopropyl alcohol sometimes is fine. They sell specialty products you can purchase for a solvent-based upholstery cleaning. You'll just need to search that, look it up. Or it'll say X, which is dry clean only. So always be cognizant of the code. You don't want to get in there and start spraying Go Oxy or the orange oil into something that it's just going to make it problematic. You're going to be back rinsing the whole thing out, probably with straight distilled vinegar to neutralize all the pHs and bring it down to a neutral pH. So don't get into that. Just uh, do your homework. You know, you can watch, copycat me, whatever. I'll try and get with you guys if you leave comments. And I do have a lot of veteran carpet cleaners that watch my channel. So shout out to you guys. You know who you are. If you see some comments, feel free. I'm always happy to see the answers when you answer one of the person who comments. And I'm sure they appreciate it too. Especially when I get busy and I've got issues with my right hand now that I'm dealing with. It's difficult for me to answer uh, all the, the comments that I may get, although I love all the comments and I do read them. Oh, yeah, I am reading those comments. You know, don't feel bad and think, oh, man, how come he's answering everybody else's comments and he hasn't answered mine? Oh, surprise, surprise. We're at Batman's house. Look at this Shelby Mustang GT. I don't even know what year it is. It is pimped out. I mean, I had when I walked out here, I was like, oh, my gosh, I didn't know I was at Batman's home. <laughs> I said, can I, can I film this for my YouTubers? Oh, man. I think he said this thing is close to, he, he pulled the motor, had it all bored out, and super. he's got a supercharger on there. You can see it's all vented out with louvers. And look at that bike. Oh, my gosh. But anyway, back to this thing. Look at this. It is on the verge, one hair away from being not street legal, whatever that horsepower is. And it is unbelievably fast. He takes it to the local track and runs it there. And it is just, oh, crazy. I wanted to open it up, but I didn't know if there was an alarm on there. But look at these wheels. Oh my gosh, if you're a Mustang fan, woo, Mustang salad. And look at this thing. I don't know what this is. I think it's a Honda, but I mean, if Batman had a motorcycle, <laughs> it'd be this one, right? This is what we're doing carpet jobs for, folks. I'm going to get me these two items very soon when I'm in <laughs> close to retirement. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. We'll see. There's a, something here. Is that a Honda? Yeah, I think that's a Honda. But whew. can you imagine the the GT, the Shelby, just pulling up next to a cop that's sitting in a parking lot and whoom, whoom, and taking off? There's no way he would follow you. He would probably just chuckle because he ain't catching you. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you. Hope you guys and gals liked it. Here's the product. We're going to let it air out. We did do the, uh, what do you call those, co not cosmetic pillows. Uh, oh, gosh. I can't think of it. They're like extra add-on pillows. We did them for free. Just a quick once over. Everything came out. All the body oil that was along the bottom strip of the love seat. G-g-g-g-g-g-gone. <laughs>
<laughs> oh yeah, this is how we like to leave a job. Yep, and this customer paid cash, and that envelope was fat. <laughs> Not only did we do the furniture, we did five bedrooms upstairs. We did a hallway. We did a fam. This is the family room. We did a living room, a dining room. Uh, all big areas, knocked out this room as well before we were, or after we finished the furniture. I like to do the furniture first and then f complete the room. It is a gray carpet, so it never really shows on the camera that well. But anyway, this is, this process is glorious. We call it SET. It is the acronym SET for Soil Extraction Transfer technology. So before I would go, what are these guys doing with a floor machine cleaning floors? This is ridiculous. We The chemicals right here, baby, are drawing up all of that ick into the pad. The proof is in the pad. That's all I got to say. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. We're going to keep banging it out. You should too. And I'll see you in the next one.